Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Here we have a Mills punching bag. Uh, we're going to date this somewhere about 1905, 1910. Um, it's been completely restored. And in fact, uh, what you're looking at is a brand new solid wood cabinet. There's really no veneers or anything. It's all solid lumber. The dial and all the housings are all original, but uh, the cabinet was completely, uh, completely shot. So uh, a new cabinet was built. Now let's come around the back real quick. Spin it around. All the inners are original. And we have these uh, original looking batteries, but they really aren't. Uh, inside we have, uh, there's housing for D batteries. And uh, this is for the bell. And I can make the bell ring by lifting this little mechanism up here. It's on a little gas shock. So if you hit the bell at a certain, um, at a certain uh, de denomination, which is 300. As you hit it, it'll go, if it goes past 300, it'll allow the bell to ring for a brief, uh, maybe about three or four seconds. And it's, and the, your, the last hit stays on the machine until the next person comes in and puts their money. So you have a little bell there and as your gas shock as you uh, punch the bag, so it's, um, Kind of quiet, quiets it a little bit. Close the door. Spin it around here a little bit. Here you have your change box, and I would say. Make sure to use Indian head nickels because the ridge on the current nickels is uh, pretty pretty pronounced. And uh, over time, they kind of get jammed every so often. So come a little close. All the embellishments are hand painted. There are no stickers except we have two new water slide decals with the Mills logo. This is the original dial. Now these were painted all different ways. You've seen some red, you've seen some striped, uh, you've seen the cabinets painted made out of poplar. And uh, yes, that is exactly what they did. Not all of them were meant to be stained because uh, depending where they were located. You know, something like this done in the quarter sawn rift oak would be, they would call it like the hotel version. So you would have this in a fancier place, um, not always on a boardwalk where, you know, it would sit outside and they really didn't care. So it was just a matter of every year they came around and they painted, they painted these things over and over and over and that was it. But here uh, we embellished it, all hand painted. And I'll try to do this correctly here. Here's your instructions. Drop coin slot, pull bag down slowly as far as it will go. It'll lock and then you need to hit straight forward and you're basically hitting the panel above right here what you're, what you're looking at. So let's put our money in there. And I will try to pull down and uh, it's also an original bag. And what's going to happen is, well, the coin drop, coin door falls out. No, uh, I didn't lock it. Uh, the bag is going to come down. Bag is going to come down, and it brings it to zero. So if I hit it, you need to hit this bag straight up, and to be, you know, right in the center. If you hit it on the side, it's not going to register. Okay, so you want to hit it in the center, 
and we have it set for 300. If you go over 300, you, hear, you will hear the bell. Uh, if you don't go to 300, you won't. So here you go. So you hear the bell go off a little bit and we were at, uh, I hit it at 600 right here. And uh, then they kind of show the average blow of, of people weighing so many pounds and they're, uh, obviously those are professional uh, boxers there. And uh, what did it say? 550, I think, I can't read, it's right behind the, the dial there, but. There you have it. And after you play the game, the ball returns back up to its spot, waiting for the next person to go for it. Well, there you have it. If you're in the market for a Mills punching bag, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.